Taurus, what's going on? How are you? Antoine here, and welcome to your love and romance messages for the last uh, 11 days of June, or May, I'm sorry, of 2022. I don't know why I got us in the future. <laughs> but these messages will be for the 21st through 31st of May 2022 for all placements of Taurus. Any, uh, those of you who are also dealing with the Taurus as well, all right? So let's go ahead and get into the energies for you. Keep in mind that these messages are general, so they will not resonate to everyone, okay? All right, so real deal, flighty, sweet honey. All right, let me tell you what I see. And Taurus, not everybody gets three, but y'all got three today. <laughs> let me tell you what I see, though. I feel like this. I feel like um, there's somebody that you're connecting with. And it feels right. You know, it feels so good. You know what I mean? It feels solid. It feels sweet, right? It feels ooey gooey. You know, it just feels all that, all the euphemisms and colloquialisms for when somebody make you feel good. Like, it, that's what it feels like when you're with them, Taurus, and you love it. Now, the thing here is, though, we have flighty in the middle, so I don't know if you know quite how to respond to it outwardly. Because maybe it's not what you're used to. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're used to having to deal with like these people who just want one thing or people who are just not, you know, they're only interested in just being casual. You know what I'm saying? You got somebody who's willing to take your time or take their time with you. Okay? Someone who's ready to show you that, um, you know, that they are a really solid individual. Okay? Um, they want to show up as uh, they want to be. They want to be seen or taken serious, is what I'll say. They want to be taken serious, and so they treat you as you ought to be treated, Taurus, as the king, queen, or royal person that you are. But as sweet as that is, like I said, there's maybe a part of you, Taurus, that might be feeling a little bit afraid, or you may. It's like it's, it may even be triggering your fight or flight response. Um, when it comes to uh, affection or when it comes to like trust, if somebody is like, you know, just telling you something or if they're being genuine. OK, so let's go ahead and pull some tarot and uh, see if we can not uh, clarify around this. Energies for Taurus for the last 11 days of May of 2022. All right, what are the energies for Taurus? Let's see. All right, at the base, we got the Six of Wands. Okay. Here in the past, we have the Emperor. On your crown, we have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, and then toward the future, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Huh. Yeah, Taurus, I can, I can see what it is. You've been very independent for a very long time. You've had to be. I, I see independence all over this, all over this for you. OK, um, the emperor, you've been independent maybe for a very long time uh, since you were young, I feel. OK, um, and of course, that leads you into now like that. You know, you behave even now like you're independent. Right. This person may. This person may be trying to say, like, hey, Taurus, you know, you don't have to do all of this. You don't have to take on everything. You don't have to, you know, but it's just like. As sweet as that is and as, as yeah, just as sweet as that is, Taurus, it's like, it's almost like, but I kind of prefer to do it myself. You know what I'm saying? It's like there's a, a, there's a sense of productivity in it when, you know, you do it yourself, okay? And although it is, like I said, it's nice that they want to do something for you, but it's just like, but I'd rather do it myself, okay? Um you you feel better when you do stuff yourself. Look, we got you wearing white here. We got you wearing white in both cards. So it's like you feel better when you do something yourself and you get the results of it that you want it. OK. Um, and I don't feel like you're I don't feel like you're afraid to uh, really speak up about how it is that you feel towards. And like that may be even why this person is trying to show you so hard and they're trying to show you 
their devotion so badly. And it's because they already know you have already told them like, listen, I am independent. Okay. I am a bull. I am, I run, I run this. I, you know what I'm saying? It's like, even though this is the Aries sign, but I mean, we're still, you know, you're still a horned beast. You know what I mean? Um, a horned creature, I'll say. Okay. So it's just like, you know what I mean? This is like, Hey, I'm independent. You know, I'm strong. I, I do what I needs to do and I get it done. And I appreciate the fact that you want to do that for me. I, I love it, but maybe you kind of want them to like not be that way. I don't know. So let's go ahead. Yeah. Under the deck. So we got the five of pentacles. It kind of feels like, yeah, the, yeah. They don't know. They don't know how to, they don't know how to, <laughs> they don't know how to, um, they don't know how to not be generous. They don't know how to not do kind things. You know what I'm saying? Um, Maybe you think that they're just trying to be, maybe you're trying to, you're, you, maybe you can't tell Taurus if they're really being charming or if they're really being sincere, or if they're really just trying to, you know, charm your clothes off. Um, like even wearing, there's another person wearing white here again. So I feel like there's a part of you that kind of wants to like run away and get out of Dodge in the situation. Okay. But I do feel like with the Five of Pentacles and also the Five of Swords, Taurus, like I said, they are confused. They're a little bit conflicted. Like I said, they want to show you that they want to be there for you, but they don't know how to do it. They don't know how to show it to you because you are so strong and so independent and you do it on your own anyway. And that's the attitude and the approach, Taurus, that you've been taking. So I do feel like maybe they're trying to like refocus or maybe they kind of are having a hard time trying to figure out something this week as well. Um... I don't know, Taurus. The thing is, it's like, it's not like you don't like this person. It's not like you don't want this person. It's just you don't want this person to stop everything that you got going on. You you know, sweet honey, that that's slow. It's like, I'm thinking like molasses, right? Something solid is something slow. You are a light feather, Taurus. Like, that's the kind of energy that you want. It's like you want to be light. You want to keep it feathery. You might not even want to be all that serious. And that's right, because you don't want nobody to just come in and say, hey, I, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. It's just like, no, I'm particular. I like my stuff my own type of way. Hmm. It's okay, Taurus. They'll figure it out. The Knight of Swords here is telling me, I think that uh, whatever you tell them, whatever you open up to, I feel like is you're going to drop some sort of clue and then they're going to run with that clue and that'll be it. Okay? Um, or they'll figure out a different way. I think maybe also they say with the Five of Swords and that Knight of Swords energy, I think maybe the different way that they see it is, it's like, well, maybe Taurus just needs somebody to talk to. They don't need nobody to do nothing for them. Maybe they just need me to support them by just being an ear, being somebody to say, okay, well, yes, Taurus, that makes sense. No, Taurus, that don't make sense. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's the type of person that you're trying to have. You don't want somebody that's going to do all the things that you can do anyway um, because then y'all are like clash because... <laughs> you've been doing it, right? You've been, like I said, you, you're you too independent. Well, I won't say you're too independent. I don't want to do that. That's not what I'm, I apologize to us. That's not what I mean. You're so independent though, okay? You've been so independent for a very, very long time here with the solitude energy. Let's go ahead and pull some more advice. You may also feel like you may want to take some time away. Uh, you may feel like this person is smothering you. You might want to breathe, okay? Patience, yeah. You asking this person to be patient with you. Um, they're trying, but I don't know if they can. It's like they got a lot of energy. They wanna, they 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 wanna come forward to you. They want they want to let you know exactly how it is that they feel. They are so sweet on you. Okay, they have a really persistent, strong energy here. Let's get one more card for Taurus. What else does Taurus need to know? cycles and received. Okay. So they may have sent you some sort of gift again, even in your solitude. It's like, dang, like they still sending me stuff. They still, <laughs> you know what I mean? They still texting me. I'm still receiving gifts. I'm still receiving texts. I'm still, you know, like clockwork on a cycle. Even, You know what I mean? It's just like, uh, ooh. Okay, Taurus, somebody just, I'm hearing somebody's late. Somebody's late. And you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the horn blowing right there. <laughs> I don't know if y'all heard that. 
but somebody may be late um, for your cycle, okay? And so uh, depending on the news that you find out, you might just have to be patient. You might have to just be spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, people may be out of touch with you for a minute because you may be doing that on purpose. Again, you also may be feeling smothered, trying to run away from this person, trying to clear the air. I don't feel like this person is stalking you. I just feel like they're just persistent. I don't feel like they're stalking you. I don't feel like it's, I, you know, it, it doesn't feel annoying. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like somebody is buying you roses when you really want lilies. I mean, I mean, I don't know. Do, do, do people want lilies? But you know what I mean. Somebody buying you roses when you really want tulips. Or, you know, somebody taking you out to eat when, you know, you really would, you know, you actually already cooked and you just bought a lot of groceries. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it's, it's, it's like that. It's like somebody is really trying to show up for you and they're really trying to love you, but I don't know if it's actually the type of love that you really are wanting to receive from, from them right now. Um, and so, like I said, it may make you feel like you might kind of want to get away. Uh, so I'll go ahead and leave the messages there, Taurus. Let me know how it's working out in the comment box below. Um, yeah, the last five seconds, right? I'm, that's when I'm adjusting it. <laughs> so thank y'all so much for your time and your support, y'all. I'll see y'all later, okay? Take care.